I'm Matthew White, I'm an art historian specialising in sculpture, and I'm a facilitator here at the Crawford Art Gallery in Cork. These sculptures and their existence here in Cork really are a result of what began with the signing of the Treaty of Tolentino in 1797 between the French Empire and the Papal States in Italy. Within that Treaty of Tolentino was a clause that allowed Napoleon to remove various of these sculptures from the Vatican collection and relocate them to the Musée Napoleon, which of course today we know as the Musée du Louvre. With the removal of these sculptures, there was a great deal of petitioning within Italy and within the Papal States to have them reinstated. These casts are a result of the intervention of the British in the Battle of Waterloo. Pope Pius VII commissioned Antonio Canova to create these casts as a thank you to the British Empire for their role in helping to depose Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo. Antonio Canova made over 200 of these casts initially and these were sent to the British Empire to be received by the Prince Regent, who would later go on to become King George IV. Now, when these were received in England, they languished at the Customs House um, for a number of months. Of course, this was a huge consignment of very large sculptures. A porter happened to overhear the fact that these sculptures, and I quote, could be had for the asking. And he communicated this to William Hare, a man who was also Viscount Ennismore and Listole. He arranged for these to be shipped over to Cork, received in the port here, and installed so that they could refine the artistic culture. But it wasn't until 1884 that they were received within the room that they're still standing in today. This is a purpose-built room, which is today known as the Sculpture Gallery, which was built to house these sculptures and to create a space where students of art could experience them much in the way that you would experience antiquities in Rome, where of course they're surrounded by remnants of the ancient world. The Crawford Art Gallery itself is named for William Crawford, whose donations as a merchant allowed the extension which was built onto the back of the Customs House and is the home of these sculptures for almost 200 years.